Well, love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace. It's time to become as the stars and shine as the stars, as Daniel 12 foretold for this kingdom age hour. So get ready, get set. It's time, beloved. So uh, start shining now. And then within but a moment of a moment's moment, the stars shall become love, and that is what we truly are. And that is what we truly have been. For our Lord is the purest love. Uh, those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten love. So whosoever should love should not perish, but have everlasting love and everlasting life, beloved. And know that those who walk with their love light on are those walking with the Spirit and never have anyone been under any condemnation. Even if they don't even believe that he's loved, it doesn't matter because his love is that strong that it's always been about what he has done for us and never about what He we have done for him. Love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace. Let me say it a million more times, the Lord. That's what my hope is. And as... Uh, as we await his best blessings, our hearts shall become as rays of light, beams of light that shall change, and uh, the glory will come down into us, into our hearts. For it is foretold that uh, the glory of the latter house is greater than that of the former. And welcome to this channel of the revelation of that, the great mountain of Isaiah 25, that arises to remove all disgrace from all people of earth. And that is because God has said to one and all, I shall forgive your iniquity and I shall never remember it. Yeah, and praise the Lord. Uh, now is the time that he is bringing all the pieces of the puzzle of prophecy together all at once so that mankind can finally no longer see in part and know in part and no longer see through a glass darkly. For the veil has been ripped, the sickle has come, and it has been planted in the earth to change this earth and bring forth the kingdom age. So, beloved, get ready to rev up your engines because it's starting soon and it's coming fast. And probably the best part of all, since this is going through the internet, it shall fly as the wind of blessedness, and it become the, the flying scroll of Zechariah, and enter into the house of, of people that have had hardened hearts, and it shall consume their houses from within, as God has cast down his love and adoration for one and all upon the earth, so he may burden down the circle of his earth with his adoration for every single person of love. So let all good story time people jump in their spaceship and prepare to zoom off into the heavenlies. For the great white cloud is just above our seeing and he stands there sending forth his everlasting gospel into the earth. And I am the writer thereof. It's the very first channel, or very first video under this channel, rather. So get ready to move beyond the speed of light, to transcend all that has been imagined, to find rest for all that are weary, and to bring blessedness for curses, and to remove our, our sin and our guilt. And there's nothing that anyone has to do to have that done, um, beloved. God is love, and that is who he has been revealed to be. So praise the Lord, and uh, it's lightning time. From the east to the west uh, comes his word of love. He is the shining love of uh, the ages, who is the son of righteousness, who rises with healing in his wings for all who will journey and all who will receive the invitation unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. For I am the one of uh, the riddle of Matthew 24, who will feed the master's household while the master is away, meat 
it is Trudy Darlene. She said all the places. And boy, you should see the banquet table. It is magnificent. And uh, I am the one who has prepared a feast of living water and living bread upon that mountain, the marriage supper of the Lamb, as it was foretold in Isaiah 25. And it has always been for all people, as it clearly says. So, beloved, people are going to, the religious people are going to be left without root or branch and have nothing to stand upon because they're not standing upon unconditional love which was the veiled message of the word of God.